Welcome back to Ozark's Boxy, and it is time for another rave review. So, guys, I accidentally stumbled on a show on Netflix like last week or the week before, and I said, I'll try this. Started watching, started watching. Guess what, guys? I was hooked. It's called Bling Empire. Now, here's what this show is just imagine a reality show version of the movie Crazy Rich Asians. Not even kidding, it is so good and these are like really rich people. It's set in Los Angeles and really the amount of money these people have is no joke. It is so good, take a look at the trailer. My friends, they're a little kooky, but they mean well. They have the whole world at their disposal. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is real. Thank you, Jesus! The Asians are here! Just go shopping. That's the best therapy. It's really hard to flex your abs all day long. You have to hold your breath. In China, my husband's father would be an emperor, and baby G would be a little prince. I don't need your help. Did you bring Botox? I only want a day for love. I'm so tired of other people's judgment. Kim Lee is a super famous DJ. You got it, flaunt it. Cherie's heirs to huge denim empire. And now Anna's back. Her father sells bombs, guns. I think it's very important to have fun. It's only 19,000 a month. This one or the black one? It's perfect for hiking. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. No, you're with us, you're safe. So there's more to this story that I understand right now? There, I mean, there's a lot more to it. And I'm still going through the process where I'm learning who I can and cannot trust. How come Christine's not sitting here? <laughs> you know, people use money to test people. Oh my God, this feels so good. <gasps> You're way overreacting right now. Are you single yet? Am I single yet? Putting <laughs> more diamonds in her? Treasure. <laughs> well, I, Asian, we don't fight. I feel like crazy attracts crazy. I just, I really like the show because I like the people, and here's what's. It's just crazy because, you know, you have to live vicariously through these people who have so much money that I'll never have. And just, I can't imagine not worrying about money. Like, that's just been my whole life. You always worry about that paycheck or paying the bills. And I, that's just, you know, a lot of our, that's our lives. Uh, so watching this and just living vicariously through them. And I loved the movie Crazy Rich Asians. I thought it was a really good movie. Um, it's really good. I just want to point out to some of these characters back here. Like the guy with the shirt off that said it was really hard to flex your abs all day. I totally identify with him. I feel like that's my everyday life when I'm just walking around flexing my abs and I'm like, God, this, my life is so hard right now. Just doing crunches all day long. And so here's the thing. He's not rich, okay? Kevin is a model. Struggling actor, I think. So I think they had him on the show because he became friends with these people. And I think he kind of wishes he was rich. And maybe because of the show, he'll have access. But this guy in front named Kane, his family has like a empire in Singapore that owns all of like the shopping malls there. And he's like the heir to the shopping mall throne. And I'm telling you the amount of money they spend just on rent alone. Like on that clip, you heard him say, oh, it's only 19000 a month. That was the rent for the house, 19000 a month. Can't even. Uh, there's also, uh, what I say is she's the, the older, more sophisticated lady in the show. Her name is Anna. She's returned to the scene in L.A. Uh, you meet her when she's in her closet in a ball gown with a sledgehammer. She is taking out a wall in her closet in a ball gown with a sledgehammer. Whose life is that? Who can just get in a ball gown and be like, I'm taking out a wall? And you never really understand what she's doing. They never explain it. She is kooky, and I love everything about her because she's crazy. She has Christian Dior come to her house with racks of clothes, and she's like, this, 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 I'll try on this, this. Could you even imagine? And then Kevin, the model who's there, he just comes in and she goes, oh, I brought this rack for you. And he's like, you're giving, I would, let me tell you, maybe it's my pride, maybe it's my southern raisin. We don't like to take gifts for free like that. I would feel guilty having thousands upon thousands of dollars of clothes just given to me. I'm like, are you trying to buy my friendship? Then I'd feel like I owe you something? I don't know. The most uh, intriguing part of the show for me though is just really diving deep into the Asian culture. 
because if you saw the movie Crazy Rich Asians, you get a feeling about how important the parents are in the kids' lives no matter how old they are. Like you're an adult with kids and yet the parents still make decisions. For example, one of the couples who's the uh, heir to the old dynasty in China, um, she had a baby, took her 10 years. They want to have another baby, but her body can't handle it, so she wants to do a surrogate. Well, the Asian parents told them that it's unacceptable for their culture for her to have a baby through surrogate. So they didn't do it. I can't imagine my parents telling me what to do as a grown man. I'll be like, it's my life, I'm gonna do it. But that's their culture. I'm just saying, you really get a peek into really, I know that Asians are known for really respecting the, their elderly, and I, res I love that, I love that. However, if this couple wants to have another baby, I think they should go ahead and do it through surrogate because the mom almost died in childbirth the first time. Just makes sense to me. Okay, Bling Empire, I really like it. It's an adult show, not for the whole family. Okay, I wanna move on to another show that I absolutely love. The first two seasons were on TBS, then it moved to HBO Max for seasons three and season four was just released. It's called Search Party. Now, I have a hard time describing this show because every season of this show, all four seasons are so different. It stars Aaliyah Shawkat, who I've loved since her time on Arrested Development when she played Maybe. I love her. This show gets better and crazier every season. Just try to take a look at the season four trailer. It's crazy. You're perfect, Dory. And I don't want you to ever have to worry about anything ever again. Dory, this is a better version of your life. And I'm a better version of your friends. I'm your best friend, Dory. Is my head shaved? Yeah. I needed your hair for the Dory doll to make it more authentic, and then it was lopsided and I had to make it even, and then I messed up. But can I just say, you look surprisingly good like this. I think that Dory's in trouble. None of us know where she is, right? She's missing. Oh my God, why is everyone obsessed with going missing? I'm wondering if you've seen this girl. Help me! I think I found a clue. This is so disturbing. Where is Dory? Okay, so I guess we're back to square one. I'm ready to give up. I mean, if I'm being honest, I was ready to give up in the car. This show is so good and crazy. So uh, season four just got released. Th uh, three episodes were on like the 14th, then three more episodes the next week, and the final four episodes of season four will be released tomorrow on HBO Max. It is such a great show. And this fourth season, totally different from season one. Watch season one to season four. You can see how different every single season is. This fourth season is almost like a uh, horror movie, and it's really good. One of my fears besides drowning and being buried alive is being kidnapped. So there you go my fears being realized. Also, I want to tell you, I finished the third season of Cobra Kai. It did not disappoint. It was absolutely amazing. No spoilers. I texted my brother and I said, I've started season three. How is it? He said, well, it's slow at first, but picks up. I thought, I'm on episode three. I don't think it's slow. I think it's amazing. Now that I finished it, I get what he was saying. Well worth the wait. Seasons eight, I mean, uh, episodes eight, nine, and 10. Amazing. Uh, by the way, guess what's on Fox tonight? A very new, all new episode of The Masked Dancer. It is the Super Six tonight. One celebrity will be unmasked. Then right after The Masked Dancer, guess what? One of my favorite shows of the season. Name that tune with Jane Krakowski and Randy Jackson. Right after that, at eight o'clock. I am so excited for this. This show is so much fun. And then finally, just to, here's a little tidbit for you. I Can See Your Voice, season two is currently casting. It has been renewed for season two with host, host Ken Jeong. So if you're a really great singer or a really bad singer, they are currently casting and you could be on I Can See Your Voice season two. Don't go anywhere. We have so much more fun on Ozark's Fox AM right after this. And I'm going to tell you during the commercial, I'm going to go get a piece of chocolate cake. Because it's so good.